Steve told me he's offering you a new contract. Yes. So why did you return my call? Because it's the Red Sox. Because I believe science might offer an answer to the curse of the Bambino. Because <laughs> I hear you hired Bill James. Yeah. You know, why someone took so long to hire that guy is beyond me. Well, baseball hates him. Well, baseball, baseball can hate him, you know. One of the great things about money is it, it buys a lot of things. One of which is the luxury to disregard what baseball likes, doesn't like, what baseball thinks, doesn't think. <laughs> uh, sounds nice. Well, I was grateful for the call. You were grateful? Yeah. For 41 million, you built a playoff team. You lost Damon, Giambi, Isringhausen, Pena. And you won more games without them than you did with them. You won the exact same number of games that the Yankees won, but the Yankees spent 1.4 million per win. And you paid 260,000. I know you're taking the, the teeth out there, but the first guy through the wall, he always gets bloody. Always. This is threatening, not just a way of doing business, but, it's, but in their minds it's threatening the game. But really what's threatening is their livelihood. It's threatening their jobs. It's threatening the way that they do things. And every time that happens, whether it's a government or a way of doing business or whatever it is, the people who are holding the reins have their hands on the switch. They go batshit crazy. I mean... Anybody who's not tearing their team down right now and rebuilding it using your model, they're dinosaurs. I mean, sitting on their ass on the sofa in October watching the Boston Red Sox win the World Series. Hey guys, this is the XRP Cowboy. Hey, this is Billy. <laughs> they're going to be sitting on their fucking asses Watching the World Series. You guys. Bitcoin was born to die. Smart contracts don't work. But we're not here to talk about that. Because Bitcoin's still going to win. You know. I'm just saying. Dill Funk. It's just about it being the first time mover. I know you said why. Why would the fucking cowboy... Support Bitcoin. I don't support it. It's not about support. It's about fucking money. And I know every asshole I talk to at the hair salon, every fucking day of my life, when I talk about XRP, XRP, the standard, they bring up Bitcoin or a fucking dog. A fucking dog that should probably be fucking euthanized. Or will be. Or has been. I don't know. I just want to be nice. We're going to talk about my holdings. We're going to talk about why we hold what we do. And why we hold the other stuff. That we do. If you say my eyes are beautiful. It's because they're looking at you. And if you could only see yourself, you would feel the same way too. I could hold you close forever and never let you go if you say my eyes are beautiful it's because they're happy with you if you wonder why i'm smiling it's because i'm happy with you my dreamers my fucking roadies you know what i'm just gonna say one thing right now 
and I'm going to see the gift in these words after, but I am so fucking pissed off. I am so fucking sick of drinking beer and smoking too much and telling my wife the ship's coming in and then telling her it went back out to the fucking deep sea. I've been doing this shit for fucking five years and I am sick and tired. I am so fucking tired. Time has come to say goodbye. I know it's gonna make you cry. But you belong to another, my love. I am so tired, so tired. And I just can't wait around for you. Why I'm going to sell my XRP, why I sold my XRP, and I'm going to tell you guys right now, it's for fucking $10 million. Let's just get into how much XRP should we own. What you can afford to buy. And we're not just talking about your spare change. I'm talking about the fucking extra money you have on your paycheck after all your utilities are paid, your kids are fed, and you go to the clearance rack in fucking Dunham's to buy your shoes. And if they're over 50 bucks, you can't have them. I'm talking about buying buying it with the change in your your fucking cushions of your couch, the returnable bottles you have from the beers you may drink, this is how much XRP you should hold. So what does that mean? It means first thing you have to do is get to 100. If you own 100, good. Then your next goal should be 1,000. And then if you get to 1,000, if you get to 1,000, it should be 10,000. If you get to 10,000, it should be 100,000. If you get to 100,000, I know, you know, a million's a big leap. Maybe it should be 200,000. The point is, is when you're trading nickels for fucking dollars, it's never enough. This whole lawsuit, what is this? The first one through the wall always gets bloody. I believe This lawsuit has one purpose, and it's to position the banks. Would it benefit the banks if they they had a date in the future? Let's say it's date X, date X, and they could fuck the price and rock it around. So they could position themselves lower knowing it was going to be significantly higher because the banks already know where this is going, my dreamers, my fucking roadies. Would it help them to knock XRP down from $2 to $0.60? Cents, to $0.11? Cents, so they could buy it knowing they're going to be selling fucking pennies for fucking $1,000 fucking bills? Of course it would. Would it benefit the banks? The SEC... Threw a lawsuit on us to make that happen. We said it would happen before it did, didn't we? Would it benefit the banks if for some reason this SEC lawsuit turned into clarity for the whole space? And XRP, the chosen one, had it. And they were free. So all the risk was on the majority of other coins. They're at risk. So the point of less resistance would flow into the coin with regulative clarity, which would be XRP, which would take the manipulation down, the banks did, where they could buy it cheap, and it would rocket it fucking up like a beautiful coincidence. Yeah, that'd be amazing, wouldn't it? They're not that smart, are they? Well, they're fucking smarter than that. Okay, my fucking roadies. I am pissed off. But you know what? I'm happy to. Because there were maybe one out of a fucking hundred, as my boy on Twitter said, that's going to get it. I think I said one out of 30. He's probably right. Assuming it's a he. 
but they were able to position themselves like we did. So good for good for good for them. You know? No, I had this thought the other day, you know, and it was like it took a friend of mine on uh Twitter to say something. You know, he was like, I was gonna sell at this price, ten dollars or something. I can't remember what Jungle said. He's like but now I'm thinking twenty or thirty dollars, something like that. He said, "And you know, I I was gonna sell a chunk at all time highs, but you know, then I after he said that, I started thinking, if I do that in a weird way, we'll probably get a. We had the downward shakeout, we had the upward to two dollars that shook people out, and then we had to go down, and that shook some more people out, which is where we're at now." But we'll probably get one more good pump up to three or four or four dollars to shake some more people out before the switch is hit. What is a switch? It's not a switch. The switch is simply switching to Swift. Um, or the bank's just sw- switching. Well, you know. But the thing is, is I was like, that's a form of a shakeout because they're going to be buying them. They they already average cost down so low when they start buying you know, the retail bags at $4, their average cost is still going to be way down because they've accumulated so much at the bottom. Why? Because they knew where it was. They know everything. It's like, riddle me, riddle me that. It's like a fucking miracle, right? That just keeps fucking happening. It's not manipulation, though. Gary. You guys, Gary's going to come out of this a fucking genius to the people that held, to the fucking people that know what they own. Just like BitBoy. People are loving fucking BitBoy. You know? Digital asset investors talking highly of them. You know, when somebody fucks my wife in the ass behind my back and then later says you're a good husband, and you're a good father, and you're a fucking great guy, I don't f- fucking forgive them. And that's what he did to the fucking army, my fucking roadies. We need to stand tall. The past wasn't that long ago. My enemy will remain my enemy. So, we talked about that. Just a little rant. If you say my eyes are beautiful. My dreamers. Fucking words mean something. Words can create life. But they can also fucking take it. Oh my god, I was going to talk about how you know, the U.S. dollars reserve currency, the world currency, the fucking world currency. But we're seeing Russia and China can just make a little oil deal for 30 years and say, fuck the U.S. dollar. We don't need it. Those are some big countries, right? Just saying, guys, we're controlling the world. We're trying to prevent that. They said, fuck the U.S. dollar. I wrote that down. Um, sometimes I get these these little fuckers on Twitter. And they'll say, well, this coin does this or this does this. It's better than X. Or-. Listen, there's fucking, there's a lot of fucking variables. And I see this all the time, guys, that someone will invest in something. Like, I'm invested in some stuff like this. Speculative, though. What does that mean? You don't put more than 2 or 3%, depending on how you feel from your portfolio, well, in all speculative. You want investments. Speculation fucking investing is not investing. It's a gamble. You don't want to get hurt. So I got some money and some shit like that, and I'll talk about what it is. But this is the thing, guys. It doesn't matter if something has more transactions or it's better in this way or that way. Because there's a fucking time value. You know, you need X amount of transactions, something to hold up the test of time. 
without fucking falling apart. XRP has that. Okay? And then you have some a bigger fucking fucking giant in the room. It's adoption. People have to adopt it. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure Raven's ten times better than Bitcoin based off of all the research I've done, but they don't market it. No one's fucking adopting it. But it, it beats Bitcoin, hands down. And I own a little bit of it because it's speculative. I'm not saying to buy it. I don't, you know, I'm, I regret buying it, but speculative, but all my speculation doesn't exceed 5%. And I don't think anyone should exceed 3%. I'm just saying, I don't fucking follow my own. I don't follow anyone's fucking rules. You know, in fact, I'm going to tell you what I own. My largest holding is XR fucking P. Once I, I got to the point I wanted to with my bags being filled, I started buying other things to hedge. I was desperate. I was a fucking fiend. Just buying XRP. Huge risk. But once I got there, I started diversifying. You only have to be get rich once, right? But let me tell you why I did that. My second largest holding is VeChain. A lot of people love it. A lot of people hate it. You know... I also own, I don't know if it's my third or fifth, H-Bar. H-Bar is probably the greatest fucking thing ever. Once again, adoption. Um, own H-Bar. I own Casper. Casper's fucking amazing. Once again, where's the adoption? But I'm, I'm putting a little bit in them because the upside is fucking huge. Because their market cap's low. It's not about how much the coin is. It's about how much the market cap is. Remember that, guys, if you want to make money. So, and if they can keep printing coins, fucking stay away. Run. Run with your doggy. Woof. <laughs> you guys, so I own that. I'm in and out of XLM because I only need fucking XRP, okay? It's a winner. Um, but to me, those are XRPs of blue chip. Um, it's an investment. I don't lose sleep over. In fact, I I wish, while the market's running up, I wish it would cut in half so I could just sell something and buy more of it, which leads me to why I own these shit coins. The only purpose of any fucking coin, I even own Bitcoin, that I own is for one reason. I'm not saying it's to sell and buy more XRP, which I may do depending on the price movement and how much it happens. It's to protect me. I'm hoping it pumps so when XRP does go up, I don't feel a financial pressure to sell it because I've made so much from these other coins. The purpose of these coins is to prevent me from selling my XRP because I know in five years from now, XRP is going to be worth significantly more than it is when it fucking rockets and we're all fucking doing the moon dance. This is why. It's, a, it's like an insurance policy. Wouldn't that be great? If you did some speculative shit and you bought some other coins that were good, like H-Bar, you were a barbarian, and you got fucking rich from them, and you could just sit on your XRP and truthfully experience what generational wealth is, knowing your kids' kids will not have to ever worry about money. They just have to worry about their parents not being fuck-ups. We're not perfect as parents, guys. But I'll tell you, we're better parents when we can actually spend time with our kids than when we can't, okay? And that gives us time. Money gives us time. Money gives us time. Money gives us time. Anything lost can be found except time. What else did I... I wrote a few things down here. How, how much do you own? We already talked about it. The digital fucking dollar. This video is getting long. You can end it now, my dreamers. But I'm going to tell you. In fact, fuck this. It's long enough. I'll make another video about that. Now that's going to fucking rock the whole world's world. The greatest generation wealth transfer in history is going to happen. We're going to love it. 
because of the digital dollar. And then they will no longer be the man. We own XRP. Remember that. Because we are the fucking man. We are the fucking man. Mahala. Mahalo. Gratitude. Hawaii. My brother. We are the fucking man. Please come out. I think I'm falling. You're the only one I think is safe. It seems I found the road to nowhere. And I'm trying to escape. You guys, don't look for the logic in these new coins. You won't find it there. XRP to the fucking moon. My dreamers, my roadies. Sorry, couldn't get too loud in this video. I had to be nice and sweet.